Hey YouTube, it's Lena and I'm here today with my hashtag team project pan update. So I have three empties, two of which I'm replacing. I'll tell you why I'm not replacing the third one right away. But uh, the first one is the Milani foundation. I scraped it as best I could. I don't know how well you can kind of like see in there, but like, there's some on the sides, but it's not enough for full application. I even like took out the I even like took this thingy out and rubbed some of it on my face one day because it had some product on there, but it's gone. It makes me kind of sad because I really like this foundation. I would repurchase it in the future. I actually did a full review on it and my opinions are still basically the same. Uh, last time it weighed 79.3 grams, just the glass weighs 73.2. And what I'm introducing... Take, it's going to take a little bit of experimentation. But hopefully it'll work out though. This is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Total Cover Foundation. Mine is in 301 Classic Ivory. It's one of those moussey foundations. So I'm hoping that it will mix okay with some lightener because the shade is... I can make it work even if it doesn't, but it is still a little dark for me. This is another one that I did a review on in the past, and I remember liking it. I just, like I said, hope that the sh I've gotten paler because I go out even less than I used to. So I'm hoping that I can make this work for me. I don't want to, you know, get rid of it or anything like that. I'd rather just use it up. Right now, it weighs 36.9 grams. It only comes with 30 grams of product, but it's a I don't know exactly where this is at. I will have to like knock it down and mark it because I forgot to do that. I can't believe I forgot to do that because I could totally do that with that particular foundation. And the next thing I have is, yay, the Pretty Vulgar Powder is finally done. Let's see if I can pry this out with just my fingernails. Yep, it is done. I will not be spilling any more of this on my uh, keyboard, thankfully. Now I was weighing it with like the puff and everything in. So last time it weighed 67.1 grams. This time it weighs 66 even. There really wasn't that much left. I'm not replacing it currently because I have a pressed powder in my new decade project pan that I'm currently working on. I'm pretty close to hitting pan on it currently. Pressed powders I can go through pretty quickly. There's usually not a ton of product in them. Unlike this 25 gram booger right here that took me seven months to use up, honestly, because I finished a wet and wild powder before really getting into that one. So something like that, if I used it from start to finish without using anything in between, would probably take me about six to seven months. But I mean, it's huge. It's even bigger than most loose powders as far as I can tell. Like. I used up a Becca loose powder in four months. This thing is a beast. But it's done. I'm not replacing it yet, but once I finish that Neutrogena powder, I will be replacing it with something in here. And the last product that I finished, I just finished this the other day, but it is my Pacifica perfume. This doesn't last super long on me so I can reapply throughout the day and it smells really good so I don't mind it. So like last time I was here and I finished it off completely. So last time it weighed 65.4 grams. This time it weighs 56.9. That's you know just the bottle obviously. Uh, I am replacing it. I'm replacing it with a little purse sprayer because I only have two perfumes left in my collection. <laughs> And this will probably only last me like a month or so. And when I finish that, I will be putting in my one remaining perfume. But I wanted to get this out first. Since I knew it would be really easy. This is the Kenzie Free Spirit Perfume. I got this in an Ipsy bag. I will insert the main scent notes right here for you guys. It's a nice smelling little perfume. Like it's kind of fruity, which is what I prefer. Um... Right now, this weighs 17 grams even. I don't know where it is in here. I'll have to see if I can shine a light through it. I forgot to do that. But like I said, I don't predict this will still be around next time. I think I will finish it up before then. 
And now onto everything else. First, we have my primer. To my not surprise, I didn't make a ton of progress on it because this is just one that takes a while. I only wear it like in the center of my face. And then I wear another primer everywhere else. That's why other primers I go through a little bit faster than something like this. But that's totally fine. Uh, last time it weighed 28.8 grams. This time it weighs 26.5. So I did use up two grams of product. Here are my marks. And that is definitely about on par with how much I use in a month with the amount of makeup I'm not wearing at the moment. If I would wear makeup at least a few more times a month, I would get through this faster, but I still figure I'll get through this by the end of the year and it will be fine. And that's really what I want. Next is the concealer, which is my Her Candy Co Color Correct Expert Cream. And I've been remembering to use this because I've been using a different concealer now because if you follow my uh, Five by Fall, I finished my Neutrogena Concealer as a foundation because like I have finished it since that video because I couldn't stand the beast. <laughs> it was too dark for under my eyes. I had to mix it. And I was mixing it on the back of my hand and that was making me forget to use this because I wasn't just dabbing it directly on my face. Now I'm using a different concealer that I can just dab directly on my face. So I am remembering to put this in its one little spot underneath my eye. I don't know why, like just some mental barrier was making me forget it when I was mixing stuff on the back of my hand. <laughs> so this time it went from 12.4 to 12.2 whereas i had only been getting like 0.1 gram of progress before so improvement definitely makes me a little bit happier that i'm seeing a little more progress i still don't figure i'll probably finish it by the end of the year but as long as i'm using it I, i'm happy next is setting spray and this is the setting spray that will not die <laughs> like I have been thinking I'm going to finish this for like two months now because it's only two ounces of product. That's, why is this taking so long? It's the Ofra Makeup Fixer. For one thing, the sprayer on this is not great. Like it kind of spits big droplets. So it makes me not love using it. I did get some more progress on it. I had, last time it was 48.7 grams. This time it is 34.6. Here are my marks. I mean, it's showing that I'm getting more progress every time, but maybe by next month I can use it up if I wear makeup a few more times. I guess we'll have to see. <sighs> Let's just hope, you know? Because I don't particularly love it. Uh, next is my bronzer, and I have made some impressive ass progress on this. Here's what it looked like last time. And here we are today. There was only like a fleck of pan last time. And as you can see, I have uncovered at least like a third of the pan at this point. So I could definitely finish this by the end of the year. I'm not worried about it at all. Um, I know some people take these like baked products apart to get all the product. Because this is a MAC product and they do the back to MAC program where you can't really screw with the packaging. I'm not going to do that, but what I am going to do, rather than take it apart, is I'm going to dig in all of these little, like, waffle hole things that it has and press it into something else. So that I don't have to take a, the packaging apart, but I can at least use up as much as I can. I'm not to that point yet. Like, I still have all of this up here and a little bit down here to go before I even have to worry about that. But, I mean... We still got a lot of pan showing and I'm sure it will be even more soon enough. So as far as weight is concerned, uh, I, last time it had 42.1, this time it has 41.3. So I used up 0.8 grams. I use a lot of bronzer to make myself not look completely dead on camera, especially. Like in person, if I'm just going out for the day, I use way less bronzer, but on camera I use a bit more because otherwise, the light that I have to use in here would blind you with how freaking pale I actually am. Next is my blush. This is the Wet n Wild Ombre Blush in, in a Purple Haze. Here's what it looked like last time. 
And here we are today. As you can see, the pan is expanding, which is great. So that makes me feel like I can actually finish this by the end of the year. So it's expanding downward because the bottom part is really, really thin all the way around. The top part is still up a ways. Hi, Europa. I'm sorry. My cat likes to announce herself coming into the room by attacking any furniture. Like, that. that's just what she does. <laughs> She's a weirdo. Uh, anyways, um... So like, like I said, all of this down here is pretty thin, but more, more up here is still pretty high up. Um, I haven't quite decided what I'm going to repress yet. Like I'm not sure how much I'm going to have to reveal. But maybe in a month or two I'll probably have to repress so that I can mix the colors together and get a more even distribution going on. Because I'm using up the purple a lot faster than I'm using up the pink. So kind of annoying, but it's a thing. Next is my highlighter. This, well, it's in the Wet n Wild Color Icon Highlighter Packaging, but it's actually a mixture of two different highlighters, including the Wet n Wild Precious Petals Highlighter. But here's what it looked like last time. And here we are today. Um, this I'm probably not going to finish unless I crumble some up into a lotion or something. But I usually only do that with cream highlighters or liquid highlighters specifically but I might try that because I really don't want this in my collection anymore it's too dark for me like even though I mixed it with a lighter highlighter it is still too dark for me every day that I use this I have to mix it with an eyeshadow to make it work a little bit better on my face so and I know people tell me you know don't pan stuff that you don't like but because it's aggravating, honestly, to, to for something to, especially when it's not going that fast. But I don't know, we'll see. My lotion right now, I have a mixture of highlighter in it. When I finish that, I might crumble a bunch of this into it instead of using the liquid one again. And maybe that'll make me feel better about having to use up the rest of it. So. Give me more incentive to actually put freaking lotion on my body is that I can use this up. Get some glowy, get some glowy legs going on, cause I could sure use it. No, nope, not this yet. I'm going in order. Next is my Mac Paint Pot and Soft Ochre. If I have a picture from last time, I will show it. But it was pretty flat. Now I've been using a brush with it, and I've been liking that better, honestly. But because I've been using a brush with it in one spot. There's actually like a divot forming. <laughs> it actually looks used now because when I was using it with my finger, I was just going over the whole thing. But with a brush, it's just kind of instinct to dig in one spot. So that makes me feel a little bit better. The weight didn't change though. It is still 54.3 grams, the same as last time, but a little bit of visual progress makes me feel a lot better. I know I'm going to have this. I'll do good to finish this by the end of next year. That was why I took this out for a few months and worked on a different eyeshadow primer so that I could have an eyeshadow primer empty and make myself feel a little bit better. Next is my cream blush. This is the Sally Hansen Sheerest Cream Blush in Beaming. This is what it looked like last time. And here we are today. So little left, but this is pretty pigmented. Like, I can't go super crazy with it on my face, and I could not wear this as, like, an eyeshadow base or anything like that. Like, this is cream this is cream blush or nothing. Like, it won't work on my lips or anything like that, and I'm panning too many lip products to try it on my lips either, so. I thought I could finish this last month. I still think I can finish it this month. If this is still around next month, I'm going to be pissed. Like, I won't understand what's happening, honestly. Weight-wise, it went from 36.4 grams to 35.9, which is, a l like last time I used up 0.7 grams, this time I used up 0.5, but I wore makeup the same amount of times. I think what happened is there was at least one day where I wore a blush and didn't, like I wore a completely different blush that I had in my collection just to wear something different. I wore this. It is the 
Glamazon Beauty by Kim Baker Blush in Candy Girl, and it's a pigmented bitch. <laughs> like, one swipe, and that's the color you get. So as I'm sure you can guess, I didn't want to wear anything underneath it. This was pigmented enough that I didn't want to wear anything underneath it. And I think that may have thrown off my weight stuff a little bit at least. Sorry, I just had a coughing fit. I'm trying to sit here and not die. <coughs> Forgive me. Next is, if I could find it, here it is. My brow pencil, which I don't love, but it's totally usable. It's just not my preferred shape. This is the Mellow Cosmetics Brow Definer. It is in the shade Chocolate, which is a little too dark for me. It's one of the reasons why I don't like it. I'm also just not a triangle uh, brow pencil fan. Here's what I have. I did make good progress on paper. I will insert that here. But this is gonna last me a few months. It's still really, really creamy. So it's not like anything's breaking off or anything like that. There's nothing that's gonna make this go any faster, which is fine, honestly, but. As long as it's done by the end of the year, I'm happy. I've already used up like five brow pencils this year. I kind of, I go through them pretty fast. Next is my brow powder. This is the Anastasia brow powder. Here's what it looked like the last time. And here we are today. Uh, I'm actually trying to connect the two pans at this point because why not? I figure. But I, I think I might be able to do that by next month. Like I'm using in the middle and mixing it together. I know at the end of the year, because this is another thing I'm not going to finish. I didn't think I was going to finish it when I put it in. I'm actually going to crumble it up and mix them together so that <clears throat> Next year, I can both finish it and not have to worry about running out of, say, one color before the other. It did change weight. It went from 18.2 to 18.1, finally. It had been at 18.2 for like three updates. <laughs> but I mean, it's a brow powder. You don't use a lot of it at one time. Next is my lip liner. I'm doing, for some reason, much better on the lip liner than the lipstick, even though I wear them together. This is the Wet n Wild Lip Liner in Red Carpet Ready. It is loose from the base, so I have to be careful with it. Here is a picture of my paper progress right here. So I'm making progress on it, and I'm pretty sure I can finish it by the end of the year. This damn lipstick, though. This is the Dior lipstick in Rosanna. I can't insert paper progress because it is so slanted at this point that it throws the whole thing off. Like... It doesn't look super slanted, but this side right here that I forget to focus on, it's my fault, is still up higher at, at the line, but this side right here is significantly below the last line. It's really annoying when you're trying to measure progress, and I never weighed this, so I can't give weight changes, and not that I figure something like that would change too much anyway. But I have been wearing it regularly, so I'm trying. Next is this. I am wearing it today. It's the Glow Stick Semi Matte Liquid Lipstick in Honey Bun. Unfortunately, it hasn't changed weight. It is still at 25.8 grams, but last month it finally changed by 0.1 gram, so I wasn't expecting it to change this month. I've only used up 0.4 grams of this. I'm obviously not going to use this up by the end of the year. Like... It's just something that I forget to wear. I keep it at my desk and usually that helps, but I mean like I can do this and I can show windows through it, but oh, that's a pretty big window actually. So maybe it's in around this area. I just don't know. This is completely impossible to see through. I don't know. Like when I try to shine a light through it, I can't see anything. Next is my MAC Lip Glass in Nymphette. I've been having a really hard time saying that. Here are my progress marks right here. I actually really want to finish this next month just so I can work on something else. Not that this is bad necessarily in any way. I just I want to work on something else. Uh, last time it weighed 7.2 grams. This time it weighs 6.9. 
Not as much of a jump as last time, but still decent. Next is the Sephora lip balm that's probably going to be with me for the rest of my life. Admittedly, I'm using up a sample right now, and that's throwing this off a little bit. Here's what it looked like last time. And I can only assume it looks basically the same this time, because like I said, I haven't been using it a ton. It did change weight a little bit. It went from 18.6 to 18.5. Maybe I'll use it up one day. We'll see. Next is my nail polish, which I need to redo. It's actually what I'm wearing right now. Just chipped to hell. It's a little Wet n Wild Mega Last Mini. I have no idea what the name of the color is, unfortunately, now. My marks, I can't make a new mark, but it's like right underneath it. The weight at least changed though. It went from 28.1 to 27.7, so a little bit of a change. Not a lot, but a little bit. Uh, that means that at this point that I have used up more than a gram of polish, which is at least something. Next is my body product. I only used this once, but the weight, because it weighs so much, it even one use makes the weight change. It's the Kiwi Botanicals Wash Away Dry Skin Nourishing Body Conditioner. And this is what it looks like currently. Like I said, I used it once. I literally used it today as I'm filming this. Weight went from 291.0 grams to 264.1. Imagine if I used it like five times a month. Yeah, I was just kind of lazy with that product this month. Next is my Cos RX Essence, the Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. Here are my marks. I do believe I could finish this in the next month. That shouldn't be a problem. Weight went from 87.3 to 71.7. And finally, I have my Verb Sea Salt Spray. And here are my marks. I actually used up a little bit more this month, I think. Not as much as then, but like more than the time before, at least. So I've gotten to about the halfway point, which <clears throat> is cool. I'm not going to finish this by the end of the year, but this product lasts me forever. I just threw something in here because I wanted to put in a hair product. Last time it weighed 149.8 grams. This time it weighs 124.4. So my goal next month is to finish this, <clears throat> this, let's see, maybe this, and I think that's it. Yeah, that looks like it's probably going to be it. But I mean, if I can finish all three of these products, oh, and the lip gloss, four. That finishing all four of these would be amazing. So that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you later. Bye.